Hello, my name is Phil Hardin. Normally I'm a, an archaeologist, but today I'm here to introduce you to the sights and sounds and the people at Crofton Pumping Station. Let's have a look round and see what makes this so special. So here I am at the beginning of the process at the boiler at Crofton. Is it really just like an enormous kettle? Yeah, strictly, yeah, yeah. That's based on the sort of principle. The boiling water is great steam to run the engine or something. But instead of having an element, we've got a cold fire. And how much coal do you actually use in a day? Normally about a tonne and a quarter, as you clean the lights up as well. And is that your job, your sole job, just to keep shoveling coal all keep night? Keep shoveling coal, keep the pressure up, keep the drivers happy. So you look at those gauges yeah, and yeah. as it drops down you add more coal? Yeah. So it really is quite a skilled operation. Oh yeah, it takes six months or so for the bottom of the train up. So yeah. when have you got a shovel yet more coal on? Jamie's going to do that on this one now. Now? Yeah. Any chance I can have a go? Of course you can, yeah. I reckon I'm pretty good with the shovel. Just do me a favour, will you, young man? And that handle. You just that hold end. on to that, will you? Thank you very much. Now I got it. Oh, of course. Easy with the door open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got to get it in there. Yeah. Thanks for that, Steve. Well, now I've got an idea of where the steam comes from. Now I'm going to go up to the driving platform and see the engines at work. Now I'm actually standing on the driving platform at Crofton and with me is Ewan, he's the driver. Ewan, what actually does the driver do at the engine? The driver's role is to start the engine, uh, supervise it while it's operational, and then shut it down again at the end of the shift. So if I want to make the engine go faster, how do I put my foot on the gas? These engines actually have a fixed speed when they're running at uh, normal working capacity. This engine's about 10 strokes per minute. If I want to increase the size of the stroke, I put more steam on using the throttle wheel. So a little bit more. A tiny bit more. And then blow a bit hold. There we are. It works on its own. <laughs> Perfect. Good stuff, isn't it? Hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 So, here we are right at the top of the Crofton pumping station on the beam gallery. How much does it actually weigh? Well, the beam here just weighs about six and a half tonnes. I learned downstairs that these engines actually work on very low pressure, about 20, 20 psi, I believe. Yeah, that's it. How is it that that low pressure can actually lift six tonnes of beam? Well, it can do it because the steam pressure pushes down an enormous piston that's 42 inches in diameter. And even if you've got a very low steam pressure with these big pistons, you can get terrific forces on them. So what's actually happening behind us? There's a lot of steam. We're actually warming the engines through. We're running steam through the cylinders to make them nice and hot so the engine will start properly. So how much water does this beam actually uh, move in an individual stroke? Well, every engine pumps about a couple of hundred gallons per power stroke, 11 power strokes a minute, and that means the, each engine will fill a lot full of water in about 15 minutes. How easy is it to actually encourage people to come here? The fact that we're in this lovely Wiltshire countryside and we have a very nice cafe here and there are lots of nice walks and places to go to is a big plus in attracting people here. And what is there for people beyond it, just the steam enthusiasts? There's the canal, there's Wilton Windmill over the hill which is the only working windmill in Wessex and of course the beautiful Wiltshire countryside surrounding this place. All this steam here 
really reminds me that it's time for a brew pass. Yeah, that's good, that's good because Crofton runs on it. <laughs> so, yeah. and so, Bex, you are the sole employee here at Crofton. Yes, I'm the site manager here. So my job is, you know, getting visitors to actually come here um, to understand the engines. What drives them, what stimulates them to come here in the first place? We have people coming for all sorts of different reasons. Um, we've got people coming for, of course, for the engines. Um, some people here for the cake. Um, <laughs> other people are just here to walk their dog and enjoy the countryside around Crofton. And it's a very different experience. When we're in steam, there is a soul that comes into the building. It's a very different place to non-steaming. People are looking at the motion, looking at the sound of it. Um, but when they come for non-steaming, they tend to take in a lot more of the history of the building, what it's actually there for, what it's doing, how it works. So in a nutshell, why is Crofton so important? And more importantly, why should people come here? Crofton is a unique site. It houses the oldest working beam engine still able to do its original job. And it's not often you can actually say that you've seen an engine of that age working. So Carol, here we are actually outside the pumping station. This is the end product, yes? Indeed it is. This is the water that keeps the canal level where it needs to be. For in the 1800s when they were trading along the canal, um, and now for pleasure boating. Now where is it coming from? The water's actually coming from Wilton Water, which is just over there, Phil. That feeds into the well at Crofton, which is right underneath the building. And then every time the beam moves, it lifts a tonne of water. And correspondingly, the tonne will come out of the launders to replenish the canal. So how long then to fill a lock? It'll fill in about 15 minutes. As quick as that? Yes, it's an amazing amount of water. You really are a fount of knowledge, aren't you? Well, it's really surprising being around all these engineers who are absolutely passionate about these engines. You pick up all sorts of information. So would you recommend it to other women to do exactly the same thing? Definitely, definitely. It's something totally different to what I do Monday to Friday. I can come here with really good company, amazing engines, and it's good fun. So this brings us to the end of our tour of Crofton Pumping Station, but this can only give you a flavour of the place. Please do come to Crofton for yourself and experience this gem of the Industrial Revolution. We'll see you there. Uh.